what's up? Robin Corinne here. Welcome to Threadheads. So earlier this week, we got an email from Lisa, who told us about a website called mooresbags.com. They inspire people to set up sewing circles, make reusable shopping bags, then give them to people for free outside of stores. This was so inspirational, we decided to do an entire episode dedicated to reusable shopping bags. So we're here at Buffalo Exchange. They have an amazing program set up that saved 5.3 million plastic bags from going to a landfill. Let's go check them out. Hi, welcome to Buffalo Exchange in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. So we have a program here called Tokens for Bags, which gives our customers the option to not take one of our bags. In doing so, they get a token, which represents the cost of our bags, which is a nickel, and they get to choose one of three charities that we have to donate to. And this summer we're really excited because once we run out of these bags, we're gonna start carrying bags derived of corn, which is biodegradable, um, hopefully more companies will take a cue from us and do the same. Wow, this is an awesome program. For more information, check out buffaloexchange.com. The truth is, you can make a shopping bag out of anything. This week we're hanging out with Rebecca, who's going to show us how to do just that. My name is Rebecca Potter and I'm the owner of R. Potter Designs. I'm a painter, I was interested in sewing and felt this compulsion to sew and sew and sew and sew and sew I did. I like feeling attached to certain things, especially you know, shoes and clothing and bags, and I like to feel like I have expressed myself through things that I make. So today we're going to make a super cool, long, perfect for your baguette shopping tote. So the basic shape is going to be kind of a long rectangle. That way you can carry more stuff, it'll hug to your body nicer. So you're just going to keep adding pieces one after the other. You can go ahead and put them together. I'm going to sew this one. So now that we've done one stitch, we're gonna kind of fold it over, make sure one of the sides is flat. I'm just gonna run another stitch on the top. Now that you have all your pieces sewn together, you can go ahead and line the back side of it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a piece of fabric, kind of like so. We're gonna lay it down. What we could do is go ahead and attach it by sewing along the edges and then cut off the excess. So one of my favorite things to do is to sew and draw at the same time using the sewing machine. Most of you should have a reverse function on your sewing machine. You're just gonna reverse, kind of pull, even just a nice plain old loop. Wow. So at the same time, we're also attaching our lining just a little bit better, get a little bit more support. So if you have some old pants and you need a bottom for a bag, pant leg's a perfect thing to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this beautiful pant leg up. So to attach it, I'm just gonna lay the base of my front panel to the base of the nice little bottom here, which is our pant leg, and I'm gonna attach it. And then I held it to the bag, try to see between the two spaces how much I was gonna need, cut the appropriate size, and then attached it much like I did to make the each panel on the front. So once we've attached it to the front, I just attached it to the other side, and then I decided to put a nice little zigzag stitch for a little detail. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck the corners like this because I know I'm gonna go ahead and attach the sides of the bag. Our last and final step is we need a way to carry the bag, so obviously we need to make a strap. Again, old corduroy pants, nice and durable. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut two even strips. I'm gonna just flip this onto this. And then I'm gonna run a line attaching them up each side. Cut off any excess that's unnecessary. And then we'll run some more lines down the middle. And that'll give it a nice look, also give it a little bit more strength. We're gonna go ahead and kind of fold it in half. Because we're gonna place it in the corner. That way we only have to have one strap. So I'm gonna place it right here. Go ahead and pin it where it basically needs to be. So your last step is just to sew your straps to your bag. So now you're ready to go to the store with your fancy new bag that you made yourself out of recycled materials and pick up your goods wherever you shop. Rebecca, that's definitely gonna come in handy. When we return, more ways to recycle those old plastic bags. Stick around. Hey there, welcome back. 
So it's great that we're gonna stop using disposable shopping bags, but what about all the ones that are still here? The actress Daryl Hannah has an amazing eco-vlog called DH Love Life. We found this clip where she meets up with a French artist who does some pretty amazing stuff. Plastic bag. It's very easy to find when you, you see in the street and everywhere. Because I was in the street in Paris, I start to read plastic bag because it was cheap. I made a dress and uh, some of my friends see this dress of a famous fashion designer, Christian Lacroix. And I meet him and I propose him to use his fashion show as a wall of exhibition. And he says yes. <laughs> To watch the entire segment and to check out the rest of Daryl's videos, head over to dhlovelife.com. Now on to the forums where some of our very own Threadheads show us their take on recycling plastic bags. Capel Chelsea gets an A for her pencil case. Keza made a sweet fused plastic bag belt. And Glass Onion wins with her knitted plastic bag purse and I Love Knitting Plastic Bags pin. If you got something you've made, send it to us at threadbanger.com. Well, that's it for this week, but next week is our Valentine's Day special, and we're gonna mention the unmentionables and celebrate our show's one year anniversary. Got a special Valentine's Day message for somebody? Email it or text it to us, and we'll put it on next week's show. Until then, see ya.